man, it's your boy Parlay, man. Before I jumped off the porch, I had street sauce. Leave that. Parlay, how you feeling? Great, I'm blessed, man. Got a lot of shit to look forward to. I know a lot of niggas right here, I know a lot of niggas locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, I cherish these moments. I noticed you said a lot of people locked up. When was the last time you had to go through something like that and, you know, go through a little lockup? Oh, shit. Should've been years. Should've been going through that shit years. Once you, once you go through so, so many times, you should learn from it. And if you got down, get in your 30s and your mid-30s, late 30s, and you still getting locked up, that means you stupid as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because you should've been unlearned from your mistakes or from others' mistakes. So. I ain't been jumped up in a little bit. And when you did get locked up, was it some serious or just some petty type little shit? shit I, I've been locked up for every goddamn thing. You can goddamn the biggest uh, charge that you can catch being a street nigga. I don't, I don't count all of them. I ain't, I ain't charge. I really ain't count. For real, for real. And all that's taken care of. All that's handled. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've been got that shit taken care of. And when it comes to taking care of stuff like that, is it more so having lawyer money, paying for lawyers, or you just yeah, do your yeah. time? Or you? Yeah, no. I ain't never did more than five weeks in jail. Okay. Yeah, I ain't never did more than five weeks. I, I did five weeks before I made bond for my murder charge. And uh, that's the longest I, that's the longest jail time I done did. You know what I'm saying? But you, you definitely gotta have some money. You can't be shit. If you in the streets, and you talking about doing anything in the streets, you ain't got no money, you motherfucking trick. Cause boy, having another nigga come trying to save you, bro. Shit, man. Now I'm talking about team, if y'all niggas ain't getting money like that, that's unlikely. And a lot of you niggas get in these situations, they get mad at their homeboy, cause their homeboy ain't got 10, 15, 20,000 to come get these niggas. You need to put themselves in that situation. <laughs> now, <laughs> when it comes to getting locked up, I know a lot of young artists be going through that. What's some of the advice you could say for them to kind of stay out of the way? Like, cause you know this, you you ain't been back in a while, like you said. So, what's something they should do, or could do to stay out and keep working on their career? Time, time is you have to go through stuff to learn stuff. I can I can sit here and tell a nigga a million things. You see what I'm saying? But if if he don't have no desire to do that, then it's gonna be hard. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just gotta keep living. You know what I'm saying? Keep, you keep learning from your mistake and from other mistakes. Ain't no reason to get caught doing something somebody else did, especially they got caught doing it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to learn from that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So I tell all these young niggas for real, find something to do with their life. Find something to do with your time. Find something to do with your, with your uh, gifts. You know what I'm saying? And make sure if you hanging around them, nigga, make sure them niggas solid for real. But get what? If a nigga got time to hang around you every day, something wrong. You see what I'm saying? Unless y'all broke, unless y'all get money in the same outlet. You see what I'm saying? And then she, if you ain't getting money in the same spot with a nigga, and y'all selling the same thing, eventually y'all gonna bump it. That's inevitable. You know what I'm saying? So pick a good crew, stay the fuck out of the way, get you some money. Don't worry about what fuck nigga got going on. About that time to tell these young niggas. So I know it's a lot of money you can make in the streets, and I'm sure you done made a lot of money as far as the street shit, mm -hmm. but I know you jumped into the real like real legal business, like doing real good business. So what would you say is more money or is more satisfying to you, that street money or that legal currency? Um, and then better than, ain't, them, ain't no better than no real legal money. Ain't that better than real legal money. You know what I'm saying? The checks that I received, I'm rapping, feel way better to get than money that I was getting out from the streets. You see what I'm saying? The money you got on the street got stress on it. That shit got blood, sweat, tears on it. You know what I'm saying? That money come with that, that money come with problems. That money that money come with pressure. You know what I'm saying? That money come with decisions. You know what I'm saying? When you when you got there run up on a two, three hundred thousand, man, you ain't just spending that you ain't going to the club blowing, you ain't going to the mind spending no ten, twenty thousand. On on them motherfucking clothes, we run up a set like that. Nigga don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody believe nigga do it now because a lot of these niggas scam me. You know what I'm saying? But niggas who grind up on money, who start from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Start off from, from a cutie. You know what I'm saying? To a bag, to a, to a whole bunch of bags, a zip, to a nine, to a 
to half a brick. Nigga ain't nigga start buying bricks. Nigga don't be doing all that shit. You see what I'm saying? It's just a different time and generation right now. You know what I'm saying? So I should tell a nigga, man, pick what you do and should be satisfied with that shit until you ain't satisfied with it no more. And I noticed you still do the music. Mm -hmm. So, but it, is that more so your main focus nowadays or it's just something you just do it because you like to do it? I, just, I always just did music I like to do it. I ain't never been a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been a, I ain't never really been a rapper. I know that's crazy to consider that shit crazy, but I never considered myself a rapper. I never really wanted to be a rapper. I never tried to be a rapper. I never had dreams and inspirations from rocking the mic and being on stage and getting number one record. She kind of fell in my lap. You know what I'm saying? So I just ran with this shit while I had it. You know, anytime you start, if you start making money on anything, you're going to be a stupid motherfucker to stop doing this shit if you can make money off of it. So, you know what I'm saying? I should kind of kept doing what I did. I like music, though. Don't get me wrong. I like music, but I don't really consider myself like a, a rapper. I, I do this shit because I like to do this shit. So what's some of your favorite artists in the city right now? Um, I like Rio. I feel more greedy. Um, I like, um, I like gifted, too gifted. I like, um, what was I gonna listen to? Um, I like no plug. Um, I like Huncho. I fuck my Huncho shit, too. You know what I'm saying? I like Young DB. I like that, I like that Grand Street shit. That young nigga shit. Hood shit, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit. It kind of remind me where I come from. When did you realize you had the sauce in the streets? I've been had that shit since I can remember. I always been that nigga. I always been that nigga since I can ever remember. I always, yeah, I always been him. Bro. I always been the motherfucker in the school. Attention, I always been, I always been it my whole life. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no shit that just niggas got old and just became. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I don't look for staying everybody I've been. Everybody I've been around I got a piece of me. Just from a young nigga. Nigga can't tell no whole story for me. Nigga can't tell you I went out bad. Nigga can't tell you I, I, did, I did some sucker shit. I said some sucker shit. I don't give a fuck how old, how far you go back to me being a fucking kid, some eight, nine years old. You won't meet nobody and put no bullshit on me. You know what I'm saying? I, so I've been having this out of shit. So basically, there's no reason for these niggas out here to be, you know what I'm saying, snitching, doing all that shit, because you don't need to do that. Nah, 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 nah. They come from a put, when niggas put themselves in a situation that they ain't ready for, and then don't want to accept the outcome, you see that, right? And then don't want to accept the outcome, of, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in a situation where someone was tempted or tried to, you know, put the blame on you in any type of situation? <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> nah, I, I ain't never experienced it, you know what I'm saying, and I don't know, not since I've been grown, you know, we do it when we was kids, you know what I'm saying, but not since I've been grown, you know what I'm saying, because I, I surround myself around real niggas, you know what I'm saying, I make sure that the nigga I'm surround, you know what I'm saying, I understand how they get down, how they rock out, I ain't never just no nigga just be around a whole bunch of niggas, so I know my niggas, how my niggas rock, and how they perform, you know what I'm saying? But I done been in a lot of situations. We done been tested a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we, are, we undefeated. In fact. You can pop the, uh, the law up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> as far as the music, you still getting paid for features? Yeah, I still got a feature. Uh, I still got paid 1500 before I walk in. Literally. To my little fuck, I got the car. Off the music, like. Yeah, off the music. Yeah. Uh -huh. a, lot of, a lot of young niggas not even doing that nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Shit, a lot of niggas not really. You know what I'm saying? And then the thing about it is, is um, I just feel like, man, I create my own, like, I do what I do. I don't really worry about what everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? And it's, um, it's value in that. You know what I'm saying? And you're not going to be valuing that all the time. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely value in that. You know what I'm saying? You stay real, you stay humble. You keep doing what you do, you don't worry about what nobody else do. You're gonna always have a lane. You see what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna walk a testimony of that shit right there. You see what I'm saying? Niggas gotta be able to goddamn, I don't know. Then it's be the person too. You be the person too. The person dictate what you do too. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a real nigga. 
So if you done ran up a quick 1500 in one day off a of feature, how much would you say you done made in features over time? I made a few M's on features, my times. Yeah, yeah, so it was a point of time. I was doing $20,000 for the feature. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I was doing features all the time. I, I done did so many $10,000 features for the street niggas in my time. Like, that wasn't shit. I don't, I don't got, I think the most I ever got from a feature was a hundred. I got a hundred from a nigga for a feature. Street money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was up. Yeah, so I don't, I don't definitely, I definitely done, I definitely done made a few M's on features. Show. Now that's big. I ain't never heard of somebody run, clearing the M on the features. Well, I didn't yeah. seen people that I could see yeah. making an M off features, yeah, but yeah, I know some street niggas, niggas that you ain't never heard of, which is big on the internet. Them niggas might clear that now in a year. You know what I'm saying? They might clear that shit in a year. So when it comes to accepting money, you'll take some money from a street nigga. Like you ain't just I, I fuck the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck. I, hey, money, money. I think about goddamn fuck how I come. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't doing no fuck shit. You see what I'm saying? So shit, yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck who got no money. You know what I'm saying? That's why on my podcast, I interview everybody. You give a fuck who it is. I don't give a fuck what you did, how you did, where you come from. I interview everybody. You see what I'm saying? Because ain't no too smart, no too big. Because like, I remember me being a young nigga, and I remember me being up. And I don't never forget neither. So how do you go about getting some of these big artists on the platform? Like, you just straight DM them on Instagram, hit their phone. No, I ain't never had nobody on the podcast who can actually be on there. I really, I have a call. I was just talking about this not too long ago, a few days, about a week or something ago. I ain't, I ain't never had, I ain't never had to get on my phone and call nobody and say I need you to come on the podcast. Everybody who came on my podcast wanted to come on my podcast. You know what I'm saying? Or I already have a relationship with them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, shit, you like that shit dope? How they pull up? I'm gonna pull up, but I ain't really had to get nobody DM and say you call this person. Nah, like, I fuck the street, my nigga. I don't give a fuck who don't fuck me. If they don't fuck me, they cool. You might not fuck with me now. You might fuck with me later on. They cool. You see what I'm saying? But might not never fuck with me. They cool. You see what I'm saying? I'm for who I'm for. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with that. A lot of niggas ain't cool with it. A lot of niggas want everybody else shit. They want what, they, what he got and what he got and what he got. I ain't, I ain't on that. So I know you. we didn't talk about you making a lot of money on features. What's the most you didn't ever pay for a feature, and how do you go about getting features from other artists if you wanted one? I would um, besides our album, I ain't never paid for no feature besides our album. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like love, like with the same thing with the podcast. Like it yeah, just, I fuck it just with, love. I fuck with who for me? I saw album going, dog. You see what I'm saying? Shit, check out Ray Ray over there, and he doing this in his trap. Don't mean that I need to be doing in my shit. I'm, I'm for me. You see what I'm saying? No, I'm chasing like, and I think they they got a lot of, they got a lot to do with how long I'm been lasting. You see what I'm saying? With the way I, how I move, how I think. Jeez, there's a lot of niggas who been doing this shit long as I've been doing this shit. They ain't moving. They ain't got motion. You know what I'm saying? I done reinvented myself a few times. So when it comes to being an artist, what's having motion as an artist? Um, you can pay for your music, shows, features, growing audience. I mean, you got some motion. You got all them in that motion. You know what I'm saying? If you got niggas listen to your music in the hood every day, but ain't nobody in your phone for no shows, you ain't really, you ain't really had no motion. You know what I'm saying? If you got music, but you ain't getting no, you ain't getting a few, a few thousand every month off, off your music, you ain't really having no. Well, I can't say that because everybody motion is different. All depend on where you at in the progress. You know what I'm saying? But shit, if you ain't get interest, if you, if you ain't got no growing audience. And you ain't got no no interest in no shows or niggas ain't hearing you for no features trying to do no songs and shit with you. Shit, you ain't really got no motion. Not to me. Now I noticed you said you fuck with the streets. Now when it comes to the street music, and as far as people rapping about ops and killing each other and stuff like that, is that what you more so want to hear, or you want them to be rapping about you know something else? I fuck what they rap about. Everybody is rap about. It's like I say it like this. You listen to country music. You listen to country music. They got awards every every year. They for who they for. And you can't tell anyone what he can't do and what he don't do, what he not do. Now you can say, I choose to listen to it. You might listen to it right now. Like I say, you might not listen to it later on. You know what I'm saying? You might you might not like it right now, you might listen to it later on. Everybody do what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so much different music. You see what I'm saying? If you die what you wanna do it, do I was a young nigga doing that same shit. 
You see what I'm saying? Making the same type of music these niggas make. So what the fuck I'm gonna tell these niggas don't do the same thing I was doing? You see what I'm saying? It's a phase, a transition. Everybody gotta grow. Everybody gotta learn something to get to that next stage. You see what I'm saying? In the streets, everybody gotta bump their head. So you gotta let niggas do what they do. You should give them guidance. Hey, do this, do that. Shit, what kind of GPA tell you made right? You might not wanna get on 220 right here. You might wanna go get on 75 down now. You see what I'm saying? So I just look at it like that. Now I know you're from Atlanta. And for people that's not from here, what's some of the places you would recommend them not to go? Shit. Shit. Now? Shit. I mean, don't even come here. Just stay home. <laughs> Just stay home. Don't even come here. Ain't nobody, ain't nowhere safe in them now. I don't give a fuck what it is. Buckhead, downtown, east, west, south. It ain't nowhere safe in them now. You know what I'm saying? I just really tell niggas, if you ain't come down here on no business, if you come down here on business, take care of your business. All the extra shit, leave that shit, leave that shit where it's at. This ain't the city for that. <clears throat> What's some of the other cities you, you know, mess with other than Atlanta? Oh, shit. Detroit. Oh. LA. Houston. Now, when you say you mess with them, is it because it's money being made? They hitting you for some money, or you like vibe? I got personal relationships. Okay. You know what I'm saying? On these shits, I pull up and go kick shit like I'm at home. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a lot. I like a lot of cities, but them the cities that I really chase. You know what I'm saying? If I had to move from Atlanta, it'd be one of them cities. You know what I'm saying? Who's some of the younger artists that got the spots in the streets we should check out? <clears throat> I think Fifth Ward Greedy is a little bit. I can come out of now. Fifth Ward Greedy? Yep. Fifth Ward Greedy. I think he's a big thing coming out of now. And what, what's, it, what's he got that you think makes him him? Sal. Um, the everything. You know how um, he got everything. The look, the sound. Movement, uh, shit, every time they go out, shit, it's 56 to 100, I mean, literally, I'm not even, it's not even no exaggeration, I ain't talking about like 20 niggas, but I'm saying 50, I mean like 50 people for real, 60 people, 70 people for real, you see what I'm saying, and shit, he made, he got that young nigga music, you know what I'm saying, he made that young nigga music, I fuck with Phil Ward Greedy shit hard. Now I know you were talking a lot about personal relationships and connections, who's somebody you could just call on the phone and, you know, like, Get them to lock in an interview with like street stars. Like, hey, bro, I got the young nigga that want to work with you, woo, 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 and they just on go with it, like just off love, just cause you fuck with us and you hitting them up, cause like you know what I'm saying. You can tell me what you want to tell me, nigga. Now, how everybody got their own perception of what they want to do and how they want to do it. You see what I'm saying? See that I feel like cool. Another nigga might not feel like it cool. You see what I'm saying? One thing, I, one thing I do know is niggas gonna fuck with what they like. I don't give a fuck what you say. You can come in them motherfuckers. You can, you can wear any kind of clothes you want to. Shit. I, niggas, I don't even wear skinny jeans and shit. Niggas been wearing them for a while. I got partners who wear them. You see what I'm saying? I got partners who wanna go spend $2,500 on some shoes. Shit, I don't like it, but shit, that ain't what I wanna do. I'm cool. Fucking with the Air Force. You see what I'm saying? Some Nikes. You know what I'm saying? Dope boy shit, I, every, there for, it ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? But one thing I can say is, though, I definitely got them, got them, give y'all a shout out and tell, definitely tell nigga fuck, fuck with street sauce. Nah, for sure that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, love. So what year would you say, like, not what year, like, how young would you say you jumped off the porch? As far as what, bitches? Getting in the streets? Or yeah. Like, or getting to some money, like, any type of, you know, motion. When you start getting some motion as you I started got down. I started doing shit when I was ten. I started really starting to get active when I was twelve. By the time I was thirteen, fourteen, I was I was in this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's, it's a little different for me though, because I grew up I grew up in the eighties, so shit, bro, when I grew up, bro, that was going on. You know what I'm saying? My granddaddy sold it though. My mama and my Old uncle family. auntie had to get out there. I said, I'm dope for my granddad. So I, 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 grew, I grew up in the environment already. 
know what I'm saying? But for me, starting to do shit around about, yeah, between 12, 12 and 14, for real. Yeah, 14, you old, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I always, I always been intelligent, though. You know what I'm saying? So I always played both, I always played both sides. You know what I'm saying? I always played both sides. I feel like being smart is going to carry you farther than anything else. So if you can make street smart with book smarts, ain't, no way, ain't nothing you can't do. I know where you can't go to. Well, definitely. I see you got the chain. Talk to us about the chain. Who did it? How much it cost? You know what I'm saying? Uh, my boy, Jimmy Boy. My boy, Jimmy Boy did the motherfucker. He kind of like boy. Asian looking like Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Okay. I met Jimmy with. I met Jimmy through TV Johnny. TV Johnny used to do all my jury. Well, I used to do Sunday. Used to do it at first, my first piece. And then TV Johnny made all my other shit, all my grills, all my chains, all my bracelets, and all that. So that's who you rock with, and TV I, Johnny. Yeah. And I met. Johnny I met. Boy. I met Jimmy Boy through Johnny. Jimmy this, Boy. this was way back then. You know what I'm saying? And I just told. I told Jimmy when he started doing, when he first started doing the jury shit. I told him the next time I get a piece. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it with you. So you really seen them come up like you done seen a lot of people yeah. come up yeah, in yeah. the game. Like. Yeah, I'm an OG, bro. I ain't, yeah, I've been seeing this shit. I am this city. And what would you say everybody had that was like that gave them that move to be one of them and to keep going and to be able to do stuff like that? As far as, far as in different industries, like jewelry, but you seeing them come up and you yeah, seeing what I they seen, doing. I seen Jimmy. I seen Jimmy come up. Street smart, book smart, basically. Yeah, without his 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 jury shit, you know what I'm saying? That nigga, he said he do everybody jury, little real pieces. He only he he's like one of them like the upcoming, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say upcoming because he been doing this shit for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And I like his work. I think he got some of the best work. You know what I'm saying? I think he got some of the best work. How much it cost? I ain't seen nobody in the city with the 3D chain yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, got down, spent a little bit on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who know jury know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So did you ever dab around with the fake jewelry or how you feel about artists that just sure, wear straight do. fake jewelry? That's what they do, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? I don't I can't knock a nigga for what he do. I ain't never had to. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never really had to. For one is when I first started getting jewelry, I was getting enough money to buy jewelry. You know what I'm saying? So when I bought jewelry, this shit was just because I really wanted to buy that shit and I wasn't tripping on it. You know what I'm saying? I think my first piece, like I, my first necklace, I paid six thousand dollars for it. It was a franchise record. I bought it at Greenbrier, uh, Sunday Greenbrier made it. it was my first little piece, franchise records. You know what I'm saying? I think the next piece I got for that was fifteen. Then I went from fifteen to thirty, thirty to fifty, and, um, thirty to fifty. Then I, I spent twenty five on my white tee piece. You still got all that jewelry? Yeah. Got rid of it, gave yeah. it away. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got all that jewelry. I don't keep jewelry, all that shit, cause I was straight, nigga. Everything, you buy everything for collab. All your car, every, everything you buy is for sale. Niggas get emotional with shit. They wanna keep shit, they wanna hoard shit. And shit, cause niggas ain't never had enough. When you go through that shit two or three times, they don't give a fuck about that shit. You see what I'm saying? It ain't. They get that shit one, two times, three times. Then, like you were saying, nothing about the drill. Shit is about how you look now. Nothing is real no more. So whatever niggas is doing, it's like, nigga, be that, be that actor on the movie in real life. Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing real no more. If you trying to get out there, decipher what's real and what's fake no more, from now, bro, you might well be done with what you're doing. Cause now you're going to buck to it going to be real. Now, I noticed you... You were talking franchise boys and white tea and all that. Y'all still, like, I noticed you was on tour not too long ago. Y'all still doing tours. Yeah, yeah. So is the tour money the same as when it was when y'all first was doing tours, or is it kind of a different price tag on it now? Uh, still making a good yeah, amount of money when you go on tour? It's really the money is really more now because it's, it's more it's more ways for people to make money now. So it's more, it's more money now. You see what I'm saying? So shit, it, it's really more money now. You know what I'm saying? Then it really was then. Niggas get way more, paid way more for show moves. Now, you got niggas you ain't never heard of, man, getting paid $5,000 for a show. We ain't never really heard of them. Back then, back, back, getting paid $5,000 was a lot. You see what I'm saying? That's like why I say this shit. This shit way different now. You know what I'm saying? But that tour money is great. Because you get a whole bunch of money in, in a short period of time. It's like guaranteed money. So how much money would you say you made off YouTube? Like throughout all the videos and anything you done put out? 
Because I know with the new update, it's kind of harder to make money. Like, they yellow bar a lot of videos. Like, they really don't want to pay out as much as they was paying out. Like, at first, you could swear after the first 15 seconds. Now, it's damn near like you could barely swear. You can't even swear in the videos or they just not trying to pay. Oh, this digital shit, I'm still, I'm still learning all this digital this, this, how this digital shit go. You see what I'm saying? I ain't never really been into this social media shit. You know what I'm saying? I use it for what it's for. You see what I'm saying? But I ain't never really been into that shit like that because I still get I still get checks every month from my old shit. You see what I'm saying? I'm still touring off old shit. I'm still getting niggas remixing old shit. I'm still getting samples. I'm still getting producer checks from shit. I'm I'm, I'm, I, my shit, it ain't really changed. You see what I'm saying? As far as the music, now, it ain't, I ain't, the checks ain't as much as they used to be. You see what I'm saying? But I'm still getting enough to live off the shit I, old shit that I don't know I already did. You know what I'm saying? So I should, me, I should, my shit perspective be a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? And so since you getting that money still, you had your business right when you was doing the music. Like, you wasn't in a bad deal. It was never no time where. I never had a bad deal. Right. I'm probably one of the artists who say that I ain't never had a bad deal. Oh, we are, we already we always dictated the terms the terms of our deal. But that what happened when you hot, you got to be a leverage. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference. And then when, when I was coming, wasn't no internet. When we sold the main record, wasn't no internet. It wasn't none. You know what I'm saying? You had chest start again, uh, songs you'd be able to play on your phone. You know what I'm saying? We went to play the long ring time. You know what I'm saying? Now we got like three songs that we play on ringtones. And you get you still get money from ringtone checks? Yeah, uh, you get we get money from all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I probably get four different checks every month or every three months. You know what I'm saying? I have it every three month quarterly or half or however you got your shit set up. I get like four different checks from four different streaming things. You know what I'm saying? So that shit just be a little different now. Like I think right now, I think our music, I think we get like one point two million streams a month, our music is. I think last year, we ended the year with uh, 13.8 million streams last year. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas are still doing numbers. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, for real. No, well, I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, pulling up on Street Sauce, fucking with us. And, um, anybody you want to shout out in a video? I'm going to shout out. Uh, Shout out to the street. Shout out to my wife, Nisha Renee. Shout out to the streets. Shout out to the real niggas. You know what I'm saying? Give them one more thing that people can take from the interview, like one more good. Deal with information. Deal with information. Deal with information, take the emotions out of it. You know what I'm saying? Out of decision making. Right? If you deal with information, it ain't got no feeling to it. You see what I'm saying? So I just tell niggas, deal with information. If you ain't got enough information, don't make decisions. Go find more information. The high nigga. Most definitely. Fuck, it's your boy Pilot, man. Street Sauce TV. Tap in. When the with it. Yeah, shout out to Partments. Most definitely. How long you been doing the podcast? Two years. Two, Two years. years exactly. Two years exactly. Found it on episodes. Two years. Yeah, yeah, it's been working. Yeah, 192 episodes in two years. What's some episodes that's you about to drop soon that you done worked and already shot or whatever the case is or got upcoming? What's like one of your biggest ones? I think I got tipped best energy ever. For sure. I got tipped best energy ever. Everything you ever heard, anything you ever want to know about my ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tip. I'm going to tap in. Shit, Big Gil. Stack 5. Shit. Scrap me. Damn big. I'm fucking everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't get a lot of fucking episodes. You know what I'm saying?